Whether you're watching this the night before or you're planning for a month in advance, these are the tips and strategies I used to study for both of the economics tests in the same year. And that ended up getting me a five on AP Microeconomics and a four on AP Macroeconomics. AP Econ pretty much just boils down to, do you know the main graphs? Do you know the properties of the graphs? And do you know how they change? those three things, you're bound to get a five on this test. So let's go on to the tips. You know me, modesty, still I'm taking a bow. So say it loud and say it proud, we're all Keynesians now. My first piece of advice is to utilize acronyms, especially for shifts. I personally use tribe for demand, I rent for supply, IRAP for aggregate supply, ANTS for elasticity, and many more. But acronyms especially are really, really helpful for remembering these specific conditions for a shift. Even a broken window helps the glass man have some wealth the multiplier driving higher the economy's health. My second piece of advice is to avoid prep books and instead spend your time watching Jacob Clifford. I personally rented the Barron's book from my library just to see what was up. And it had, I noticed that it had a lot of extra and irrelevant information that would not only not be on the AP test, but also kind of confuse me because I'm like, oh, I've never seen this before. And also, and ultimately added just unnecessary stress. I also look at the Princeton Review book uh, just briefly, and it also just wasn't super helpful. I would say just in general, invest your money in Jacob Clifford's Ultimate Review Packet instead. I personally bought the micro and the macro uh, Macro, micro and macro courses on sale, and I feel like they helped me a lot. The charts and the practice problems he gave, as well as the review videos he filmed, were very, very helpful, and they were really cool. And it was really important for me to see my material in another lens, as well as get practice for the AP test. That simple equation, too much aggregation, ignores human action and motivation. Some micro-specific advice I would give is to especially know the shutdown rule, as well as all the points beforehand. For example, profit, we know that profitable, a firm is profitable when price is greater than the average total cost. A firm is a neutral when price is equal to the average total cost. A firm will exit in the long run when the price is in between average variable cost and average total cost. And the shutdown point is when the price becomes lower than the average variable cost. That's super, super, super important to know. I would also make sure to know the four different market structures as well as their graphs, the properties of each graph, for example, Tell me, identify the dead weight loss of a monopoly or just various things like that. Especially for micro, be very comfortable working with tables because you are definitely going to work with a table at some point, either to find the quantity where marginal resource, marginal cost equals marginal revenue or to find the quantity where marginal resource price equals marginal resource cost if you're dealing with the labor market. Being comfortable and practicing with that data is going to be very important for you to do well on this exam. You must save to invest, don't use the printing press, or a bus will surely follow, an economy depressed. You macroeconomics, I would say the most important thing is to know the three main goals of macroeconomics. Real GDP should increase by 2-3% to annually, the, a stable inflation rate should be also 2-3% to annually, and the unemployment rate should be at the natural rate of unemployment, which is 4 to 6%. Make sure you know those three numbers. They are super, 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 super important, especially for the FRQs. I would also make sure to know your monetary and your fiscal policies really well. Know what happens with contractionary and expansionary policies for each of them. Here's a chart that pretty much has everything you need to know about each of these, as well as the changes that happen on the graphs. Also, know how to calculate real GDP, real GDP, not, reg not nominal GDP, CPI, your inflation rate, and your GDP deflator, given a chart or a table. I saw both a chart and a table on my AP exam. And that credit crunch ain't a liquidity trap, just a broke banking system. I'm done, that's a wrap. I hope you found this video helpful and good luck on your AP exams. If you found this enjoyable, then please check out in the description below. I made a video for Calculus AB as well, where I sh also share some more tips on how to get a five on that test, if you're interested. But yeah, thank you for watching the video. I'll see you some other time.